What's up? I'm Allison. For today's video, we're doing a 15 minute full body AMRAP routine. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. All you need is a pair of moderate and heavy dumbbells and a mat. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. We'll be completing three circuits with three moves for five minutes long each. Prior to each circuit, I'll be demonstrating each exercise and giving you the amount of reps for each move. Your goal is to complete all three exercises within one minute's time, and for the remaining time, you get to rest. At the start of each minute, you'll start again. As an extra challenge, for the third exercise in the final minute of each circuit, you're gonna do it until the full time is remaining. A warm up and cool down is not included, so make sure to do this on your own for at least five to 10 minutes. So grab your equipment and some water, and let's get started. I'm using my heavy weights, but feel free to go lighter if you need to. Here are your three moves for circuit number one. We're starting off with a wide-legged deadlift to squat. For the deadlift, we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, palms facing in, pull the shoulders back. Keeping the knees soft, flat back, we're gonna hinge forward for the deadlift, feeling the hamstrings, come up, rack the weights up, sink low for the squat, come up, bring the arms down. Inhale, exhale, come up, and sink. We have five of these. The next move is going to be five push presses. Keeping the same weight or going lighter, have this feet a little narrower than shoulder width apart, soften in the knees, palms are facing in, inhale, exhale, drive those arms up to the ceiling like you're punching two holes. Inhale, exhale up, down, up. Your final move is cardio. We're doing a set of touchdowns for five repetitions. All we're doing is wide jump squat down, reach to the ground, come up, other side. If you'd like to modify this, you can do it side to side instead.
moves for circuit number two. For the first exercise, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. We're doing six alternating reverse lunges with chest flies. All right, making sure you have some room behind you, bring those arms up, abs are tight, lunge back while extending those arms, palms in, bend the elbows open up, and then do the other side. For the second move, grab your heavy weights. We're doing 10 reciprocal rows. Hinging forward and keeping the back flat and abs tight, palms are in. We're going to row up and extend down, keeping the elbow in and squeezing those back muscles. And for your third exercise, we're doing 10 lateral power chops. Giving yourself a little bit of space, like you're chopping wood, we're going to jump up, bring it down. Using that force with the upper body and keeping the hips back.
your three moves for that third and final circuit. Grabbing your heavier weights, we're starting off with six ski swing hammer curls. Now for the ski swings, we're gonna have our feet a little bit closer than shoulder width apart, or a little bit more narrower, I should say. Knees are soft, palms are facing in, elbows tight. With control, we're swinging back, and then coming up, curling, elbows are tight to the body. Inhale, exhale, swing. Here's a side view of that. Come back, swing up. For the second exercise, I'm dropping down to my moderate weights. We're doing six alternating lateral lunges with triceps extensions. Keeping the elbows high, palms facing in, lateral lunge to the side, extend those arms up, push in, feet together, and then repeat other way. If you need to, feel free to alternate arms instead. And for your final move, we're taking it down onto the ground and doing a set of mountain climbers. Once you're in that high plank position, we're going to drive the knees to the chest. Think about each repetition is doing one on each side. So this is one, two, three, etc.
job at completing that workout. You did such an awesome job. If you're feeling energetic, go ahead and rewind this video and get a second round in of each circuit. If you're all done for today, make sure to take the time to stretch for at least five to 10 minutes. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job at completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.